So we're, in this lesson, we're going to back up a little bit and we're going to again show you how we can set up and output content into our file. So I'm going to remove that one there and I'm going to just create a brand new SQL query. So this one, just going to leave it blank for now. And uh, so what if I wanted to return the results in a specific order? How would I do that? I'm going to uncomment all that stuff and we're going to go back to using that select that we had used before. Uh, so select and maybe just select all from and then the database, the table that we're selecting it from. So test order. And so basically what this will do just go back out and refresh it and show you that essentially this just lists out everything as normal um, in order. By default, uh, the order is when they've come into the database. Uh, so it's essentially being sorted by those IDs. So now we can add in, much like our PHP My Admin added in, we've got this option to order by. And then we've got ascending and descending. So we're going to just simply add that into our query there, order by, and let's say we want to order it by age. And we can leave it at this, uh, just show you what the difference is. Uh, so by default, it's going to order it ascending. So this is going to be the same thing that we've got over here. Uh, so just ascending. But what if we want to see whoever's the oldest one and we want it to return those results? So that's going to be descending. And I go over to here. When I click it again, we see that we're going to have descending. So when I refresh it, we see that now we've got all of those results descending down. And I got to make this one smaller and that one bigger. So um, essentially in the console, we've got a listing of all the commands that we've been using uh, right from the start. And if you're ever um, ever wondering what, uh, which, what the structure of the SQL is that you should be using, uh, PHP MyAdmin uh, really does have all the answers. So anything that you want to do, it's always going to list out uh, those commands, those SQL commands, and it's just a matter of placing them. Uh, once you've got your database connections set up, uh, then it's just a matter of applying that logic and running those commands. We also have the ability to export uh, content out of C my PHP at MyAdmin. So if we want to get this SQL file as a dump, uh, we could do a quick dump of this as well. Uh, we can create new templates. Uh, so a whole bunch of options here. And I'll just show you how this, uh, this is actually going to look. I open it up in brackets. This is our dump file. And here we've got our standard SQL uh, creating the table. And same thing that we entered in here, creating that table. Uh, so we can get hints on all of these commands uh, that they're all available here. So if we want it to have a complete setup with all of this data, uh, all we'd have to do is copy out uh, create table and then we could do an insert into and this would create a duplicate of that entire table. Um, and we can get all of this information directly from PHP MyAdmin. And then of course here we've got add primary key, alter table, uh, test and so on. So if we had some additional information here uh, that would be listed down here. So that's how you pull all of that out of uh, the PHP MyAdmin. You also have the ability to import and import, as the name implies, is going to be the opposite of export. Uh, so we could upload a zip file and import that table. So if we were switching tables and we want to bring that data over to a brand new database, we could import it. And uh, this is just the format. So we've got multiple formats here. So if you have an Excel file, CSV, uh, we've got some other options here to import content and set up databases quickly. Uh, under operations, this is where you can move tables, rename tables, copy, create brand new tables, a lot of functionality here. Uh, so if you do have to do any manipulation of your database tables, you can do that within operations. And essentially, um, 
There's more information here under the structure here. So if I want to update my actual table, if I want to add in additional uh, columns, I could do that here. I could specify how many columns I want to add in, where they're going to go. And then, of course, I've got my search. So I've got different operators here. So we had looked at equals, we had equal or greater than, less than. We also have these ones, like, and these percentage likes. So these are going to be more specific. Uh, so like uh, will look for a string value that's similar. If we do these uh, percentage signs around it, that will mean that um, we're looking for uh, one that contains that value, not like in so we can look if a specific number is in uh, that value and uh, is null not null and so on so a lot of different operators that we can use and of course here it's got an example so the wild card is that percentage sign and then this is what we would be using those wild cards for so we can do a like with a wild card in front or wild card after or wild card on both sides so in the, the regular like is just a specific value that we're looking for. So it's similar to the equal.